So I don't even want this video to be like, is it right or wrong? Is it great that they're taking over? But Amazon is smashing brick and mortar businesses and brick and mortar businesses are shitting the bed and they deserve to be losing. Amazon right now deserves to be winning. And before I go further, I should say, yeah, I realize how scary it is that in the future, one company might have a total monopoly in most industries of consuming and that it might become socially acceptable for your boss to pay you an Amazon gift card because it's basically currency now. Um, just two examples of two products that I've bought and it, it just clicked. It's, you know, and I've tried, I've tried my best to support local businesses. And, you know, people have even said, oh, you have a bit of an Amazon addiction. It's like, no, I used to work in film and I, and I lived in Montreal. And so going shopping for one, going shopping in a place where you're not quite fluent in the main language spoken makes shopping a lot harder. Uh, and, in, and like, you know, I worked like 14 to 18 hours a day, sometimes 12, but like, you know, there was a lot of downtime on set and it's easy. Oh, I need this. I want this tool. I need this. And if I don't need it right now, it'll show up in one to two days and big cities like Montreal, Toronto, maybe even Los Angeles, it's even better. But in Montreal, sometimes it'd be same day shipping. So unless I needed something right this second, it's, it was kind of like a problem solver for me to be like, oh, here, Amazon, there you go, and it'll show up at my door. And most of the time, stuff on Amazon somehow is cheaper. Uh, but to give two tales of two products uh, that recently convinced me, yeah, to like not even shop brick and mortar anymore, as much as I want to support local businesses, as much as I don't want the, there to be a monopoly. Like just in general, you go to a Walmart or a Canadian Tire or any store, Home Depot is pretty good, but most stores, I don't know what it is, the labor shortage, but you go up to the staff, Walmart, and you ask them where something is, and it's like teenagers looking up from their phones in disgust, like how dare you interrupt our conversation, or they, they were all in a huddle talking, and it's like you feel bad interrupting them, and you ask where something is, this happened in Canadian Tire not too long ago, I asked where a specific tool might be, and they said aisle 36, go there, it's like fucking pool like noodles and stuff, not not the type of screwdriver I was looking for. And I noticed, yeah, they or they'll be like, oh, it's over there somewhere, man. It's like, dude, you work here eight hours a day. Like they get like mad and disgusted with me that I don't know where it is. And it's like, you guys work here eight hours a day. You're not supposed, this is your job. Sorry, man. Like I'm not trying to sound rude. Um, but the two tales of like, for example, I bought a cigar cutter, I kinda, kinda sounds bougie, but I got into smoking cigars with some of my friends. So I bought a cutter for 30 bucks that also came with a lighter. Um, I got it and the lighter was leaking butane. It wouldn't hold butane, butane so it wouldn't really light properly. I phone Amazon, I'm like, hey guys, can I get like a little bit of a discount off this or return it? It's just not working, I can return it. I can send you guys a video. And it was, no, 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 sir. We believe you, we trust you, here is a full refund. And I was like, dude, like, it's just the lighter doesn't work, the cutter works fine. Nope, full refund. It was like, oh, okay, sure, won't argue. So, you know, I get the full 30 bucks back. Um, meanwhile, uh, there was a lighter. Uh, you know what, shout out to you assholes. It was a Flamingo Vape cannabis store in Winnipeg, that chain. Um, I go in there, there's this like $50 torch, the flame's this long, it's really cool. Guy shows me, the guy sells me on it. I come back another time and I buy it and I'm excited because I'm like, oh, I'll use it for work in the winter for de-icing things. It'll be great. And what happens second time I use it doesn't work. I phoned the manager. I said, hey, what's the return policy? They're like, oh, we've never had one not work. I don't know what to do. And I was like, okay, but like the mechanism in the trigger for it to go, it's just like jammed and it stopped working. It's like, okay, we'll come down. We'll figure it out. I'll set you up, see what we can do. Come down, it's a, a girl named Amy working, and the one on Corden, and what did she say? Like, we figured out, obviously, the mechanism's broken, and it was, oh, sorry, it's final sale. I was like, oh, can you phone the manager, John, because he said something about working it out with me? And, ooh, the best I can do is 10% off. It's like, oh, okay, well, I don't want to buy another one. I want the one to use, I use to work. Oh, well, there's a warranty on it. You just have to sign up on the site and do it. So I go, I'm like, oh, okay, fine, that's fine. And she, she was nice and gave me the barcode. And at a point, it's like not even their fault, but I go to a cafe next door. It takes like half an hour to sign up on Newport's site, make a new one, make an account, I mean, and start to fill the information. And she said, it'll be a free replacement. Great, that sounds awesome. It is a free replacement. 
but you have to pay $30 American. And I use fancy, I'm in Canada, so we use fancy Canada currency. $30 American is around like $42 Canadian. So I would have to pay $42 Canadian to get my warranty replacement for a lighter that worked two times before breaking, or one time before breaking. It broke on the second time. And they just like, when I go back, I'm like, hey, can you guys just like fix this? Can I just like get a different lighter off the shelf? Like you, the dude sold me on it, promised me it will work, promised me it lasts a long time, and it didn't. And then he also promised me I could come back and we could work it out. And that's becoming not a thing. Like I drove across the city and I spent like a good hour messing around with this. And it was just like, if this was through Amazon, it would have been replaced immediately. And half the time they don't even ask you to ship it back. Half the time they don't even ask for proof. Amazon is just like, boom, here you go, service, great. And then another thing, uh, and it, it was infuriating. And it's just like, well, man, what do you want me to do, man? Want me to buy you a lighter? No, I want you to run your store like a business. And brick and mortar businesses back in the day did better than this. I found that car dealerships 20 years ago, or I talked to old heads and old people and they talk about, yeah, like if you have something go wrong with your vehicle right after buying it, they want to fix it and replace it for you because they feel that's unfair. Well, you know, most in-person places now, their customer service is the shits. And, and then another thing, I go to buy cat litter and I go to a store and I'm like, hey, like, are you, do you guys have cat litter coming in soon? And this is like a thing that can make your cat feel uncomfortable. So it's like when you want it, you kind of want it. And you don't really, you know, if you don't have a lot of room, you don't want to stock up a whole room full of it. Um, and you don't really buy it that much in advance until it's about to run out. Maybe that's what I've done. And maybe that's not the right way to do it. Um, and then I go, the store has none except like, you know, $60 a bag bamboo, like super expensive shit. So I have to buy that. But I said like, hey, when do you guys know when the normal stuff's coming in? And they have no idea. And it's not the employee's fault, but it's like they have no idea. They're like, oh, no, it's supposed to come in last week and it didn't. Uh, and then I was like, okay, whatever, bought the expensive bamboo. But then, you know, I set up an order for Amazon to just uh, get a recurring, just so I don't have to worry about this anymore. And every six weeks, or I don't know what I put, five weeks or seven weeks or something, but every certain amount of weeks, now Cat Litter is going to show up at my door and I don't have to drive. I don't have to get in the car, spend gas money, drive around. And Winnipeg's very spread out, so it's actually nice when stuff just shows up at your door. The whole going to a store looking for stuff, uh, just to find it's not there and going to three different similar stores and finding out it's not there while you can just go on your phone and find stuff instantly is a little bit different, right? It's a little bit better. So I don't get why people knock. I guess it, I don't know, people in my life that I live with, they're like, oh, you just like spend so much on Amazon. It's like, not really. I bought a bunch of work shirts, wor shirts for work. They showed up at work and it cost 10 bucks. I bought shot five shirts for 10 bucks. That's pretty good. If I would have went to Walmart, that would have wasted my time. I would have had to drive all the way there, you know, 20 minutes to get there. Uh, the 20 minutes walk around, okay, maybe like 15, but waiting in line. But this way, if I'm patient for a couple of days, it just shows up at my door and that saves me time and money. Oh, okay. And then I set up an order and I send it to my last address in Montreal. And I phone, I said, hey, I made this mistake. Um, what should I do? Should I try and find out who lives in my old apartment or something? They said, oh, no, no, no. Psh, sir, just call after it's delivered and say it was delivered to the wrong address and we'll refund you. And then you can just buy it again. I was like, oh, okay. And I guess maybe in the system, they have a social credit system because, which is sounds scary, but... And it's like, I rarely ever phoned and asked for a refund. And so I find the, the odd time, I think I do every like six months, I do once. And the odd time that I actually do, that they just like instantly do it. No questions asked, no arguing, no taking it down. And that's what I found frustrating with like dealing with brick and mortar stores is sometimes I just find as the years went on, the service has gone way down and there was no such thing as like, yeah, you know, like we have to have the customers feeling right. And I, I don't want to go in and like hose the store and make them feel bad or like rip them off. But it's just like, you want a fair deal. You want to be treated like a human being. And I find actually just customer service with Amazon over the phone. Like I feel never interrupted and I feel really listened to. And I notice that whenever I start to talk, they stop talking and just, oh, sorry. Yeah. What do we need, sir? Well, I find, which is like, 
kind of nice. It just makes you feel special dealing with them. It is a nice thing. It makes you feel respected. And I don't need that from every single person in my life. But it just, you know, you have a nicer feeling when you talk to Amazon employees. It's like they are trained really well to make you feel happy. And I've rarely had a problem with anyone over the phone. And it's like, cause I know they monitor the phones and like they demand really good customer service. So it is more pleasant to deal with them. And I'm not for, like, I am so much for small businesses and I think small businesses are important, but it's like, holy hell, get your shit together. And not all small businesses are bad. That's a ridiculous thing to say. I'm just talking about, you know, like these small franchises are like, I just feel like extremely, like the whole lighter thing from Flamingo Cannabis in Winnipeg on Cordon, you assholes. Like you get, you convince me to buy something and it doesn't work the second time. You tell me, oh yeah, come back and we'll, we'll figure it out, man. And I drive like half an hour to come back only to get more run around of, oh no, you just got to sign up for the site and it should be totally free. I promise you. And when I went back to the store and said, yo, dude, it costs like 40 bucks to get a new one over the internet. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. So I have to whip out my laptop to prove a point. It's like, yeah, it does. Like, can you just help me? Can you guys not return it for me? Like, do you not get like packages from them in bulk or something that they can just send it to you in? No, couldn't do that. It was, oh, I'm sorry. It's final sale. Nothing I can do. So yeah, in short, that was my tiny little uh, one take video essay of why I think Amazon is destroying brick and mortar. Just two examples and why they kind of deserve to be winning. And I want to see small businesses flourish, but like, holy shit, get your heads out of your asses. Like, I don't know, like obviously, it's just like, maybe it's unfair because of how big they are. They can just provide this better customer service, but like all these small ripping people off and stuff and like being rude to them in the store or like, I don't know, your teenage staff, like barely giving a shit and being rude to customers for interrupting their conversation. It's like, look, dude, I'm just trying to get into the store in and out. And yeah, I know, you know what, honestly, you know, all Walmart employees are all any big box stores. When a customer asks where something is, that employee should walk with them to try and find it and find it with them. So that employee or that uh, person, that customer doesn't have to aimlessly walk around and waste their time. Cause it's like, well, and I've gotten that feeling where it's like, well, why am I even walking around looking for something? And there's been tons of times where, oh, I just type in while I've been in Walmart, I just sit and type it in an Amazon and boom, it gets sent to my door in two days. Cause it's like, if I can't find it in Walmart, I'll just boom, it comes in on Amazon. Anyways. Yeah. I, don't, I didn't know how to make this video without sounding like an asshole, but I felt it needed to be said. Anyways, ciao for now. Have a good day.